too for some tips and tricks on how to learn to improvise on the trombone. So uh, in this segment, we're going to talk about uh, the beginning of improvisation and uh, how that really was an embellishment of the melody. And so uh, as we're learning to improvise from our own beginning, that's a really a uh, tremendous place to start. Uh, just taking a melody that you may already know, or a simple melody, and making little variations or decorations or embellishments on that melody. And so uh, to give you an example of that, uh, I think we all know the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Uh, so I'll play that for you with, uh, without any different embellishments or decorations, uh, just so you can hear it. to start with improvising is just to take that melody and decorate it. This time I'll just play the first phrase, but I'll decorate it or make some variations on that melody just using rhythm. But I'll keep all of the same pitches. Mary had a little lamb decorating just the rhythm. Um, so now I'll try a, a variation on Mary had a little lamb where I maybe decorate the notes by adding some passing tones between some of the original melody pitches uh, or other neighboring tones along the way. So there we were improvising on a melody that we knew, uh, and so we were just using some of the fundamentals like rhythm and um, uh, passing tones, neighboring tones, to embellish the melody. Uh, and that's a great way to get started. Take any song that you might find in your book and just try varying something by your own choice and at your own, uh, your own timing, and that's really step one to improvising. Uh, to carry that same idea to the next level, uh, we can pick another tune maybe in the jazz repertoire. Um, there's a great uh, tune by Duke Ellington called Sea Jam Blues. It's got a really simple melody, and that melody repeats itself three times. Here's the original melody. <laughs> that melody repeats, as I said, three times. So um, I'm going to play it for you again, and I'm going to add a little background track from a, a piece of uh, software, an app for your uh, smartphones or your tablets called iReal Pro, and it uh, will put the background uh, accompaniment to the piece. So I'll have that playing along, but uh, I want you to listen for how I play the original melody as is the first time, and the second time I'll vary something, and the third time I'll try varying something else, uh, and I'll be improvising those along the way. So here is C Jam Blues. So that was Sea Jam Blues, where I improvised on that very simple melody using rhythm on my first variation and a neighboring tone on my second variation. Uh, there's another great tune uh, that has the same idea where it's the same phrase three times. The song is called Sunny Moon for Two, and uh, you can check out the player uh, Sonny Rollins to hear uh, a great 
high level professional version of this tune. The original melody sounds something like this. And then uh, it's repeated two more times. So I'm going to do the same idea, uh, just so you get another example, where I'll play the melody the first time as is, the second time with a variation, and the third time with another variation. And so here is Sunny Moon for Two improvising on the melody. Sunny Moon for Two, improvising on the melody. So uh, any tune that you're working on, uh, trying to uh, learn to improvise, it's really important to first learn the melody to the tune. And of course you can do that by looking at the written notation. Uh, if you have access to that, your teachers can oftentimes help you. The internet can help you. Uh, or uh, if you don't, and it's simple enough, you can try to learn the melody by ear, which is also a great exercise. Uh, but then Take that melody and make it your own by playing with the rhythm and playing with some neighboring tones and uh, things like that. And that is step one to learning to improvise and just get comfortable getting around your instrument.